What's good? Uh -huh. It's King of Lane. I'm gonna cross the street. I'm on full. Playboy, I'm a beast. You can see me do my thing, catch me out in the streets. I'm on full. I be loving the freaks. That's why I got a different one every day of the week. Come on. Say what's strong woo? <laughs> strong woo. <laughs> All right, here we go. What is good, my friend? How are you? We are here today with King Delane. How are you? He made the long drive. How long was the drive today? It was about a uh, little over two hours. A little over two, little hours, over two hours, hours, yeah. To come the festivities. There's a concert or something going on, but we got some beers, got some snacks. We are hanging out. So let's get into it. Let's get an introduction of who you are and how you got to the Northwest and got this whole hip hop thing started. Man, uh, King Delane, based out of Eugene, Oregon right now. Uh, came up here to Portland. Um, been doing a lot of lot of shows. Uh, just came off the Raising the Bar tour. Stevie Stone, JL Locksmith, uh, with my guy Dev Devine and Kay Mason. Brought them along with me. Uh, just dropped a project called All or Nothing back in April. Uh, April first, actually. Uh, we got Lazy Bone, Clyde Carson, Neff the Pharaoh, Dev Devine. Uh, my my boy Barry Band, Savell the Native, you know what I mean. Uh, about to drop another project called Masterminds. July fifteenth. July fifteenth. July fifteenth. Masterminds. We got Millie's on there. Um, it's it's a Deaf Divine and King Delane project. Uh, we got of course my guy Kay Mason, uh, and we got Soul Luna out of Portland. Shout out to Soul Luna, yeah. former guest on the show. We love you, Soul. Uh, and my guy Pine. And my guy Pine. If you don't know who Pine is, he's dope. Uh, he's actually he's actually with Odyssey Records and uh, Stevie Stone in there. How'd you and Soul link up? How'd that go down? So, um, you know, it was it was just like a, a random thing. Like I've been I've been hearing a lot of his stuff, and uh, you know he's he's different. He don't sound like he don't sound like everybody else. You know what I mean? And so you know I've been I've been following him for a while, and uh, I just reached out to him one night, and I was like, Yo, like we're trying to work with you. He has uh, a movement that is huge out here right now. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. you know. And, and, and like I said, I follow him. I, I pay attention to what he does. I pay attention to a, to, to a lot of people in, in the entire Northwest because you know, you know, now, now that I'm here and like this is where I made home base. You know, this is this is my region, so I gotta know, you know, who's hot and who's not. You know what I mean? And and so he's a guy. I'm like, okay, we gotta work with some Portland cats. You know, I did a couple tracks with Cool Nuts, so I'm like, I, I need to get some of the some of the new up and coming guys. You know what I mean? And, and well, he's a great one to have on that list. He's really yeah. We've seen we cover his events sometimes on our show, and we've had multiple experiences of seeing two hundred plus people waiting in the freezing cold in a Halloween costume, willing to pay twenty bucks <laughs> each to walk in that door. Yeah, so, that's crazy, man. He's that's doing a crazy. great job. He's doing a great job. We've been doing a new little segment on the show um, called Sneaker Check. So let's go ahead and go through the Sneaker Check. Oh, today. Sneaker Check. Oh, okay. See what we got Birdie's got the Reds. Okay, all right. The logistics came through with the Crocs, and my man's oh, looking yeah, you know. nice. You know, you know. Hey. I always stay dripping. Well, you're from the, you know, us here in the Northwest, we get the lap of luxury that we're from Nike. The, you know, we're from the land of Nike. So. The land of Nike, man. <laughs> we I, see I represent it everywhere I go. You will not see me in anything but Nike or Jordan. That's it. You do represent it, even in uh, one of your videos there. I think you guys were at Autzen, right? Yeah, so yeah. so that was uh, show you something. Show you so, something. That's the one. So right? we actually rented these uh, these cars. Uh, <laughs> Those are like the, three the wheelers. <laughs> yeah, or Arkimotos. You think you could do one on something like this? <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Feature in the next video, you're gonna see King here rocking one of these. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it, man. That, you know, I always try to do. I try to think outside of the box when I do a video. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, when we did that, we were like, well, you know, we're gonna pull up to uh, to Otzen and. And because the cars are, the company is actually based out of Eugene, Oregon. You know what I mean? So, you had hella cars in that one too. Is a, I'm on full. You had a, tons of cars in that one. Too. Oh yeah, I just had all the homies just pull yeah, up. That was your homies at a Top Class Auto Salon. Yeah, so Top Class. Uh, yeah, my boy, uh, my boy Keith actually, he he owns that. Uh, so that's uh, the bins that we pulled up in in the beginning of the video. Yeah, that's 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 his that's his whip. So we pulled up. You know what I mean? Shot the video. Uh, had this kid. This kid Forrest came out in the in the Mazda. In that with the or, the uh, orange one. Yep. He yep. was spinning around, y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was actually like we we did that for like an hour straight. You know what I mean? But I mean, in a three-minute video, there's you know there's a lot of cutscenes. You know what I mean? But it was like 
I mean, the parking lot was tore up at the end of the day. You know, I was like, you know, I told Keith, I was like, yo, let us spray this down. He's like, you know, it was January when we shot that. And he was like, uh -huh. oh, the rain will get it, don't worry. <laughs> But it was there for like probably a good week before it even washed away, you know what I mean? You got any new video videos lined up? Is there anything we can look forward to for that? Yeah, so so July 1st, uh, okay. we're dropping a single called uh, Really Wanna Know. Mm -hmm. And that day, we have a video shoot scheduled. So uh, by about July 7th, uh, we should have the video out. Maybe we, sooner. If you've watched the show before, well, I'm sure you have, um, we give everybody a gift. We brought a shirt for you here today, so you get your official... Across the street, T there. Oh yeah, oh, looks yeah. like you're a fan of the red and black too. We was oh yeah, at always, of, always. Always in the red and black. We were like, this yeah, is, might be a match too. made in heaven. Oh yeah, I rock that. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming again. We really appreciate you driving this yeah, car. No. So thanks good. for having me out here. Yeah, you're brought up a couple times on a couple past episodes. Um, Savvy the native, of course, yep. mentioned you, and then a clip of Cartier as well. So. Yeah. So you are the man. It sounds like in where in, in Southern I'm, Oregon. I'm, I'm up there. Yeah. yeah, I'm up there. People wanna, will link up say with that. you. Uh, yeah. Want to work with you. We also had a fun time talking about the Beat Bros, which was this great relationship. He said that you kind of found something in these guys, told them to refine what they were doing, and oh my goodness, that's a big part of your sound now, correct? Yeah. So really, like. You know what it is it's like you know i you know i told you already but mm -hmm. so what it is is you know they're they're trap producers and and you know i was just i basically helped them implement a different type of sound in their trap to make them sound really original and you know with that being said we came up with a with a uh, a sound this you know like a west coast trap basically you know and it's it's when you when you hear most of my songs you hear that west coast trap sound you know and not everybody has it. Some people love it. Some people, you know, don't really care for the sound. But you know, it is what it is, and it's it's it's, it's dope, original yo. sound. <laughs> it's hella dope. You know what I, I mean? really like it. Yeah. And, and you know, with that being said, you know, when you go to a producer, you know, a lot of people say, "Hey, make me a this type of beat or that type of beat." You know, you know, ten years down the road, you might hear someone say, "Hey, make me a King Delane type of beat," and all that Ooh. is is a beat, bros. You know what I mean? Hey. That's all it is. You know. Hey. So. You guys do a bunch of shows out there too, right? So like July 6th, we said you got a show coming up, right? July 6th, uh, we got a show. Uh, we're opening up for Planet Asia, Mitchy Slick. Um, they, they, got the, they, they got a tour coming through, Eugene. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, we're, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be a part of that. Um, you know, we just, we were blessed. I just got a random, random message and, you know, somebody said, hey, you know, you're, you're the guy we want to talk to. You know, like, to, to be a part of this. And so, of course, I accepted, you know. Birdie, how is it? What'd you get? What is it? It's super chocolatey. Super chocolatey, she says. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that looks extra sweet. <laughs> that looks extra sweet. Birdie, yeah, so, uh, she gets mad when we, don't, when we don't have someone take a bite of something. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then after that... Um, we're gonna be doing the uh, Afro Man tour. You Caleb know, so. Wild Cards on that as well. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Shouts out to Caleb. Uh, Savage Native. Yep. You know, uh, so me and Def Divine will be on there, and we will be bringing uh, K Mason with us again. Really like K Mason. Thank you for turning me on to him. Uh, yeah, again, yeah, dude. Like, he was like, <laughs> you know, he like I said, he was he was just he was one of the producers from the Beat Bros, you know, and uh, wow. he wasn't a singer. And uh, it just, it, the way it came out, you know, I just told him, I, I told him, I was like, man, I'm gonna make you a singer. And now he's, he, you know, he's like three projects into it. You know what I mean? He, you'll hear him all over my music, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, he's he's writing his own his own stuff now, which is, you know, most most singers aren't the best writers, you know what I mean? So- You do ghostwriting. I, yeah, I ghostwrite, I so, ghostwrite, yeah. yeah. For, for rappers and singers, you know? Sure. Um, Mostly, mostly singers, a few rappers, you know, I, I can't mention any names, but, sure. you know, he doesn't care if I tell you that, you know, anything you hear with me and him, I, I probably wrote it, you know what I mean? So, and <laughs> I always talk about having a team, so there, you know, you, you can do good things by yourself, but to get more people involved, you can really yeah, do for some sure, great for sure. things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, it, it's a beautiful thing when you have, when you have a team, 
selfies. <laughs> over here getting selfies. <laughs> yeah, selfies yeah. over here. Man. You know, it's a beautiful thing. Like when you when you have a team, you know, and, and everybody can just play their part, or or, or someone's slacking somewhere, someone else can contribute a little bit more. You know, it, it's it's beautiful. Like when we when me, Def Divine, and K Mason are on stage together. You know what I mean? The stage presence is unbelievable. You know what I mean? Because wow. just one of us alone. You know, there's it's it's a vibe, but when you have all three of us, like we're so in sync, it's just like, you know, like we did the whole, uh, like I said, we did the raising the bar tour, and uh, you know, we had, we 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 got so many we got so many flowers from that. You know what I mean? They were like, oh man, you guys have the song of the tour, you know, you know, you guys have some of the dopest, you know, energy on stage, you know, and it, and it's cool when you hear when you hear guys like Locksmith and Stevie Stone and JL. You know, Locksmith is a rapper, rapper, my friend. Bro, he's a rapper, yeah. rapper. You know, <laughs> come on. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and you know, near future, you know, Locksmith, Def Divine, and King Delane. Have you soon. had a moment yet? Have you had like the I feel like I'm doing the right thing moment where you just felt good about the efforts that you've put in so far? I'm not going to say you've hit the jackpot or anything, but like, well, nah, yeah, well, you know, well, because I haven't yet. Correct. But, no, it's you know, small steps. Have you had a small victory? I guess I've I've had I've had a lot. I've had a lot of those, you know. And there's you know, like when you get when you get messages and people are trying to track you down and be like, yo, uh, we heard you're the guy to talk to for a show you know uh, I was throwing my own shows for a while um, and, and you know I was just using local artists and we were we were packing we were packing venues you know what wow. I mean with just local artists so at that point when you know when it's when you, it's my name and my face as the headliner and we can we can sell out a building that's a good feeling as it is you know what I mean is the culture strong there in Southern Oregon Have the culture's out? there it's there the yeah. culture's there um, the resources is what we lack you know what I mean? Like it's very limited where we where we can do shows. Um, you, you know, faced I, opposition in that department. Like people have just been like, "No, we don't do hip hop shows well, here," like, or just not enough places to do it. Yeah, and like you know, there's a few there's a few venues, but they're very picky on who they bring. You know, they they're very very picky on who they bring. You know, so if I try to throw a show there, they're worried about the type of element that's going to come in. But like, if you wanna, if you wanna bring, like, if I brought locksmith in there, you know what I mean? They'd have no problem. You know what I mean? So, it's just, it's just different genre, genres of hip hop. You know what I mean? And you know, I think, I think, in that area, we get judged before we get listened to. You know what I mean? So, and, and I think that's all it is. Uh, but there's, there's two really good venues there, and it's just like we can't get in unless we bring someone who's, who's reputable and. Even if you meet all the requirements, the insurance, yeah, and the, they you know just I mean? won't let it's, it happen. And, and it's just, it's crazy. But, so I use a lot of these, I use a lot of these smaller bars, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, they, we fit 300 people, 200 people, and we pack them out. You know and I mean? the small business probably appreciates the heck Yeah, out and they do, it, so, and they yeah. do, you know what I mean? And it's like, and we, we, yeah. get a, we get to make a little bit of money, and they get to make a little bit of money, and everybody's happy, you know what I mean? So, that's a... Uh, the, but like I said, the culture is there. It's just, it's just, it's just hard with your with your surrounds. You know. So what I mean? you're, I mean, you, for lack of better words, still trailblazing an open door experience for, for hip hop sure. in Southern for Oregon. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, as far as like the 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 the, the cultures and and the show, I you know, it doesn't stop us. Where do you think they're going? I think they're coming home. They're, they're landing, yeah. Yeah, they're coming home. You been doing any travel at all? Oh yeah, I mean, I just traveled the whole country. You know, I seen you actually. I saw some of your pictures on Instagram. You was out there on the beach with the shoes off. And... Oh, that was <laughs> that was uh, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah. You had the hat. You had that the, was Puerto the Rico, man. I was hat. man. They, everywhere I went, everybody in Puerto Rico, they call you Poppy, no matter what. <laughs> like you know, so it was. Uh, that, that was a fun experience, man. <laughs> that was last year. Uh, I'm actually gonna hit. Uh, Dominican Republic this year. Ooh, yeah. there you go. Yeah, first I'm time doing Dominican Republic. Uh, Is that your first time you making that trip? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Every year got a got a new got a new trip. Uh, next year I got Greece planned. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, I try to hit. Yeah, trying to find a small pub out and so you can say you rocked the show and. Man, <laughs> man. So I'll tell you this. So we found one in Puerto Rico. We're in Puerto Rico and they had like this. There was a bar with like, you know, two two hundred fifty people there. 
and they had like this local this local band playing and then at the end of it they were like oh we got open mic you know what i mean and so nobody jumped up and i was sitting there like you're like uh once in a lifetime opportunity i know i thought about it i thought about it i should have jumped on it but you know it was it was like you know i didn't have my music with me i didn't have anything you know so they just started doing karaoke uh karaoke over there birdie would have done that i already know she would have she, on the karaoke? Yeah. She's our karaoke. Like, back me, back me. Back me on the song. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> She'll put you to the test, too. <laughs> but, yeah, man, I love to travel, man. Traveling is like, I traveled back and forth from Oregon to California most of my life, you know. Well, hence the hour and a half trip plus to get here for this 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's, no, yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> I, used to do, I used to do that for a commute every day, you know what I mean? That far? That long. That long. Right. <laughs> that long, yeah. That long, not that far, yeah. yeah right. But traffic's bad, you don't have, doesn't care how long you're in it. Yeah. Oh, helicopters too? We got them too. <laughs> Maybe they'll honk like the truckers do. Is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> well, we ran through about 16 minutes pretty quick, my friend. Um, you want to give us some special love, shout outs, PSAs on the way out here before we wrap this up? Uh, yeah, no, I just, you know what I mean? Uh, shout out to. Right here. Hey. First shout out, cross the street. Appreciate much y'all love, having me. Much love. We appreciate That's big you. Love. Appreciate That's big you. love. Uh, shout out to my guy, Def Divine, K Mason, Beat Bros. Uh, you know, everybody that's been rocking with me. Uh, you know, the city of Eugene, the city of Portland, of course. You know, uh, and, you know, we can't forget about the people, Five for One Gear, for, for mentioning me. Shout telling to me to come on the yeah. show. Savile the Native for mentioning me. Telling, you know. So, uh, you know, I appreciate everybody. Appreciate the love. Uh, big moves coming in the future. King of Lane. Man, if there is ever anything we can do for you in the future, you just let us know. Um, I got we you. always tell everybody, too, when we come to your neighborhood, we're going to call. So, <laughs> yeah, hey, <laughs> we're going to call. So, if we're in your neighborhood, hey, we'll... I'll do the same thing. I'll do <laughs> the same you thing. You let us know. We'll see whatever we can do for you. Let's bring it in, everybody. Let's do, uh, let's do Cross the Street on three. Ready? One, two, three. Cross, cross the, the Street. street. Hey. Thanks for your time, friend. Get home safely. Um, Again, thanks for the long trip. We appreciate your efforts. Of course, man. Cheers.